my life, music and motorcycles. I gotta ride, I have to. It's like an addiction. I can't not ride. Sometimes I get a feeling like I need to go. I need an adventure. And my adventure in the summertime is running this stupid motorcycle. From a really young age, I was obsessed with them. Loud bikes are just so cool. I was like 12 years old. I got off it, I went, ah! <laughs> I'm 60, I get off it, I go, ah! There's no better feeling. You're in the open. You're in control of all this power in your right hand. It's like freedom. And you got the wind blowing. You got my music playing. I just love that feeling. Until you get on the bike and feel the freedom of the ride, you'll never know what the feeling is. It's a passion. It's a love. Passion for motorcycles is a well-known way of life in the U.S. And the bikes are as unique as the people that ride them. This is my baby, Eleanor. My tricked out Harley Davidson Road Glide. My CVO Street Glide 2017. This is my 2016 Street Glide Special. I have over 12,000 miles on it already. I'm not a big fan of polishing chrome, so I tried to get rid of as much chrome as possible. Pipes with a tuner, Screaming Eagle, air intake, mini apes custom paint job done by Harley Davidson. But no matter how different they might be, all riders know that the bikes they ride tie them together in a special way. There's like a brotherhood and a sisterhood. You always catch yourself waving at any bike, but it seems like the Harley community itself is really accepting. To where it didn't matter what I was riding, as long as I was riding. It's just family, man. All family. And you always strike up conversations and you a lot of times form new friendships. The only thing in common is the fact that you both like riding on two wheels, and sometimes one. It's common for bikers to carry a certain stereotype, but there's often more to these hardcore enthusiasts than meets the eye. I am the vice president of sales for Fujifilm Healthcare. The company I started, BNG Holdings Inc., and I run that business. I am a union operator, Local 139, heavy equipment. I work at Faribault Harley Davidson. I own a bar here in Beloit. I like to build motorcycles, I like to shoot guns. Basically, I started the group next. 18 million records sold worldwide. So ride with us as we take a look underneath the helmet and get to know some of the people we pass out there on the open road. Something that sets me apart from the rest of the women riders, I wear a corset and stilettos, high heels. After losing my leg and being in the hospital, having 26 surgeries, um, you see a lot and you learn a lot. The band's called The Good, The Bad, and The Funky. I'm the lead singer. I got out of the hospital from my open heart surgery. I went up and bought a brand new bike. Brand new life, brand new bike. We just happened to be in the studio tonight. A record, done. Nexus back. This is your boy Tilo from the group Next. My name is Ryan Goodman. My name's Alan Glenn. Troy Malone. Brad Samler. Mike Isaacson. Bootsy by day, heels by night. Love riding, love life. And this is my biker life. My biker life. My biker life. Here is my biker life, right here.